Today's project is uh, getting all of these pieces laid down and flat. And I've already started with this one. So uh, I put this down and then trimmed around the sides. And uh, now it's just a matter of making this piece connect in the right place. And uh, I'm applying this one the last because it's meant to float on top. Um, and that way you can see that the way I have it positioned right now, I'm just a little bit off right here. That won't matter. I planned ahead. This is uh, her hair, so it's going to be black and will be probably be a shadow right there anyway. So um, the way I'm doing this is I'm applying medium and I'm getting this pretty wet making sure that I get all the way to the edge over and slide this in where it goes. out of the way and use all that excess that I'm pushing out to come back and get the edges down flat. So now I have uh, the large piece laid down. It's pretty flat. Um, there are a couple of lumps and bumps, but I think it's going to be okay um, because I'm going to apply gesso over the top of this, which will help even it out a little bit. Um, and I went ahead and drew a border around this so that um, her hand isn't holding an empty hole. It's actually holding a heart. Um, and then this hand has been trimmed so that it fits against the heart, sort of like that, which I think is oriented a little bit lower than on the original sketch. And this one hasn't been trimmed yet. So I'm sort of um, using my ruler to figure out where things go and get everything sort of symmetrical, but not painfully symmetrical. 
And I'm also not sure if I want to apply these hands now or wait until I have the hair and the shirt painted in and then uh, apply them then. I'm thinking that I might let them uh, be an addition, sort of like what I usually do with uh, the flowers. Um, a lot of my pieces, I leave the flowers until the last, and I think I might do that again with this one. Um, so that leaves me with the sun and the moon. And when I did the original sketch, I made a conscious effort to make the two faces sort of the same distance away from the center and also at the same sort of level as the uh, as its counterpart. So what I'm trying to do here is maybe get their lips at the same distance and at the same angle. I'm not sure how successful I'm being, but let's begin. The moon is angled a little bit more like that. So that they're looking at her, but they're also sort of looking down. So, if you can put those two together. And then once I have these down, I also need to do the rays of the sun. Um, so, oops, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. been sort of playing with the little pieces um, to see how I want to lay this down. Um, it's a little different than what I had in my original sketch, but it allowed me to um, do more big swirls while still leaving a little space um, between the rays. And I'm trying to lay this out so that I can do little wisps of hair like I usually do um, without sort of invading the space of the sun and the moon um, without having hair uh, over the top of a star. And maybe I want to shift this out of the way or shift these so that so that I can do swirls of hair and still have the sun's rays uh, have plenty of space. So this one's gonna get cut off anyway. Need a little one. Maybe like that. And I would have a rose right there. It might be better. I still have a little breathing room between the rays to allow the background to show through. So, um, like I said before, I think the hands and the roses are going to get laid down later um, after I do some painting. And these are going to go down now.